What's happening? This is Kadeem from Love, and these are my show stories. First ever Love show. Oh my god. Funnily, funnily enough, our first ever Love show was with While She Sleeps. <laughs> we um, supported them in the O2 Academy in Liverpool, and um, at the time, We'd kind of semi built a little bit of a following with our past band, um, R and Balance, we were called. So, because um, we already semi knew like quite a fair few people in the Liverpool scene, we literally, I think the promoter ad was was like, if you can get a lot of people to the show, like here's a guest list, and we can get it, like it was like a cheap list type thing. So we literally any every any and every person I'd ever met at a gig ever in Liverpool, I put on this list, and we had like half of Liverpool at the show, and it was amazing. But um. It almost felt like a rebirth, obviously, because we'd been in a band before that and kind of rebranded everything. It was like, I felt like I was born again. And since then we've sprouted into what we are now. So yeah, it was a very special night. Um, honestly, I'd say Download Festival, <laughs> Download Pilot, the uh, last download we played, just because Obviously, it was um, we were shaking off a lot of dust because it had been a long time since we played any shows. Um, that and then just worrying about the technical side of things, and then also if first time we'd ever played like a main stage at a festival like that, it was a lot. But um, turned out to be a sick show. Had a bit of a a few hiccups uh, technically, but other than that, it was a great show. The proudest on stage moment I'd say was in 2020 in February when we played London. Uh, we did a week-long UK tour. The last date was in London and it was sold out. It was in a venue called Omira. And um, and it wasn't until we got on stage that I seen the crowd and seeing an absolutely like packed room solely for us because it was our headline show. And the fact that we're in London, somewhere that's so far away from Liverpool where I'm from. I remember literally walking out, looking at the crowd being like, yo, turning around to Faisal and being like, look at this crowd. And we were both just looking at each other like, this is insane. So yeah, I'd say that was one of the most recent like moments on stage that I was just like, that, wow, what the hell? Probably Download Festival, you know? <laughs> I've mentioned Download so much, but um, just the fact that like, um, it was like the last song and like, we had a lot of technical difficulties leading up to that and the fact that it was the first show that we played in a while, like a lot was riding on it, you know what I mean? And um, so yeah, we were on stage, last song, playing Two Way Mirror and um, something happened with the uh, rig that we were using. I think it was like a cable, faulty cable or something. Everything just cut out on stage. So I'm in the middle of singing and everything just stopped. So I'm like, uh, what do we do? Luckily enough, I started, I carried on singing so I mean, it was it was a it was a bad thing that happened, but in the end, it kind of turned into a good thing because I carried on singing and everyone was singing along with me. So I guess that was cool. So I wouldn't say that was the biggest disaster, but I, in terms of like things going wrong, not unlike that has ever happened to us before. So I guess it is the worst thing that's happened to us. <laughs> I'd love to play with Deftones. Um, I'd love to tour with Slipknot. Ooh. If it was a tour where it was like new metal revival tour, it'd be it'd be Slipknot, Corn, Deftones, and then us opening on an arena tour around the entire world. I'd love that to happen. I'm just gonna speak it into the truth. So if anyone in them bands is watching this interview somehow, somewhere, my email is uh, I'm not <laughs> joking. I'm not gonna say my email on a video, but <laughs> but yeah. That would be my dream tour.